Lucy had just left the hospital. She found out where the powder was in seconds, but Lucy didn't rush to get it. She went to her best friend's house to borrow a computer. Through the fast computing mechanism, Lucy quickly found a professor who researches brain science and told her situation over the phone. At first, the professor thought it was a joke. At first, the professor thought it was a joke until all the electrical appliances around her were controlled, and the frightened professor was not fully convinced. Lucy was confused. Lucy was confused by her growing knowledge. Lucy didn't know where to go from here. The frightened policeman was in a state of turmoil, but as the other man drew nearer, the bullets in his gun fell out. Lucy told him to hand over three packets of powder. The policeman had no choice but to do so. Lucy rushed to the destination without stopping, looking at the radio, which had already been visualized. She found the key with a simple stroke of her hand, a conversation between the man and his men. The message was to retrieve the three bags of powder immediately. As expected, the first group to arrive had already ransacked the police station. The first group to arrive had already ransacked the police station and gotten what they wanted. But as they were about to flee, Lucy and the police arrived at the scene.